the familiar hawk, lean, strong, and swift. Its rhythm and grace are beautiful to watch, yet it is deadly and accurate. For its very well-being is dependent upon its ability to maneuver crisply and strike with the speed of lightning. Here is another hawk, the Douglas Skyhawk, also familiar for its lean, powerful, and graceful performance. It too is deadly and accurate, and like its namesake, carries no excess weight, no frills unnecessary to its function as an attack bomber. Its size, weight, and design simplicity startled the aviation world. The versatility, reliability, and tremendous firepower has made the Douglas Skyhawk the most outstanding attack bomber in the world today. The A4D Skyhawk, or DA-101 as the export version is called, is an extremely small, high-performance, high-payload military attack bomber. The Skyhawk is so small, it can be stored on carriers without folding its wings. So fast that it can operate as a fighter. And so powerful, it carries a bigger striking load farther and faster than any airplane of its size. It is only 39 feet in length, with a wingspan of 27 and a half feet and a height of 15 feet. The weight of the aircraft is 15,000 pounds. It is powered by one Wright J65 turbojet with a thrust of 7,700 pounds. The Skyhawk is the result of Douglas's long experience in the designing and building of all types of combat aircraft. Its revolutionary design is the outcome of a new Douglas design philosophy. It was this reasoning that brought the Skyhawk into being. It was this departure that furnishes more performance per pound of airplane. One of the first steps taken was to simplify and conventionalize the fuselage structure for ease of field maintenance and for ease of manufacture. As well, considerable weight saving was affected through the reduction in the number of joints in these structural members. A novel design approach was used on the cockpit. All internal stiffeners were eliminated and the external skin used as the strengthening agent. This approach lessens the overall weight and furnishes maximum internal space with minimum external shape. Another example is the method of attaching the wing and landing gear to the fuselage through the use of an attach fitting integrally machined with the spurs. However, a classical example of obtaining the highest possible utility from the structural design is the wing. An obvious proof of the compounding value of the weight saving program is displayed in the small modified delta wing service. Because of the reduction in airframe weight, it became possible to reduce the wing size. An added dividend because of its small size was the elimination of the need for wing folding mechanism. Needless to state, this elimination created an additional saving in weight, plus the added factor of considerable savings in costs and personnel. To further save space with resultant weight reduction, the design of the small wing provided for the use of the internal wing structure for integral fuel tanks. Thus, a secondary function was achieved without disturbing the primary purpose. Another example is the use of strong points in fuselage design to provide attach points for high load carrying devices. The efficient structural design permitted the arresting hook to be carried directly into the fuselage longerons. Again, the result was effective weight saving and lower cost. Reliability of structures and components was given major consideration during the concentration on lightweight design. Very high reliability percentage was achieved through simplicity rather than by excessive strengthening practices. It should be noted that concurrent with structural weight elimination, all internal systems and their components were miniaturized and thus lightened without loss of performance capability and with further savings in costs. 
The ejection system incorporates all the necessary safety features proven during Douglas's long experience. The system was designed to be especially lightweight, weighing approximately 50% less than systems in general use, and is proven to be extremely rugged and capable of withstanding high G-loads. The Douglas designed system is fully automatic and provides reliable escape even from ground level. And in addition, the system contributes much to the aircraft performance through its light weight and as well provides for a low maintenance rate and maximum reliability through the greatly simplified design and mechanical function. As a result, the A4D Skyhawk suffered no strength restrictions because of these economies and size reductions. The aircraft has, in fact, emerged as an extremely rugged end product, a fact which has been proven during actual operational conditions. Function has ruled rather than redundant bulk. Seeing is believing. The Skyhawk is a small aircraft, but immediately the question arises, what about the payload? Here is the tremendous arsenal carried by the Skyhawk. Here are weapons for every tactical situation, as well as tools for mobility and range when desired. Here is a payload available in single type loading or in combined loading. The versatility, the interchangeability, assures the right weapons for a given job. Smaller weapons are arranged under the strong, rugged wing. Lightweight bombs, rockets, napalm tanks, and gun installations. To facilitate centerline underfuselage loading of external stores, the landing gear was designed with extraordinary ground clearance. This permits the larger bombs to be carried in a position that avoids asymmetrical flight characteristics. In addition, the high ground clearance permits the pilot to land the aircraft with these large stores when a mission is aborted or the stores unused. An excellent example of the benefits of the added ground clearance is the capability of attaching large fuel tanks along the fuselage center line. This enables the Skyhawk to be converted into an in-squadron tanker aircraft. The underside tanks and associated transfer equipment greatly extend the jet squadron operation. In addition, it permits rapid deployment and furnishes the opportunity for a highly mobile force wherever long distance moves are required. The refueling system is a complete powered system capable of containing and transferring 300 gallons of jet fuel. More fuel can be drawn from the aircraft main tanks should additional supply be required. The tremendous economy inherent because of this innovation is readily apparent. The high cost of maintaining expensive tanker aircraft is avoided, and the lag time usually required to schedule and arrange rendezvous with the tankers is non-existent. Thus, it can be seen that economy is foremost in the Skyhawk. Its small size, its tremendous payload, its versatility of external loading, all lend toward making it the most practical ground support attack bomber for the coming years. What do these economies, these successes in functional design, mean in the actual costs? They mean a defense budget saving of better than 50%, or in terms of defense units, twice the number of aircraft for the same expenditure of defense budget. Maintenance and manpower requirements are also areas where costs and performance efficiency can be increased or decreased. The basic design philosophy has taken these areas into consideration. The simplicity engineered into the aircraft has reduced per-flight man-hour maintenance requirements to less than that of any other first-line aircraft. The Skyhawk has an exceptionally high availability rating. The high availability rate is obtained with minimum manpower per aircraft. It should be noted that the high operational availability time and reduced maintenance manpower is another highly desirable saving in operation costs. The simplicity of the design permits four bolted sections to separate into four individual units for inspection or major repair, as the case may be. The forward fuselage, 
the wing, which is rarely removed, the engine, and the rear fuselage. Each of three sections can be stocked as completely unitized replacement items. The sections are interchangeable between aircraft, thus considerably reducing the downtime of an aircraft. The ease of accessibility to internal systems permits inspection and repairs to be accomplished at the airplane or separately at a workbench in a shop. Access hatches for the electronic system, the electrical system, and the hydraulic system are plentiful and easily removed. It should be noted that the wing is never removed during the maintenance or storage phase. However, it is detachable should major repair or replacement be required. In fact, aircraft storage in limited facilities, such as those within small carriers, is a highly desirable feature of the A4D design. Access to the engine for inspection and repair is another carefully planned design feature. The J65 turbojet engine is a subsystem in itself, having systems for exhaust, engine controls, as well as provisions for other engine-driven accessories. These systems, too, are readily accessible. An outstanding dividend of this type design is the minimum amount of time necessary for engine change. With a complete engine stocked as a replacement part, a new engine can be installed in approximately 16 man-hours. The value of this innovation to aircraft availability rate is certainly apparent. As with the other major disassemblies, the tail fuselage section also lends itself to minimum effort for maintenance and repair. Accessibility to control components, engine tailpipe and speed brake mechanisms present no time or workspace problems. The fuselage section is also mobile and can be serviced in dispersed areas or in integrated maintenance areas. The great number of design simplifications carefully engineered to lessen maintenance and overhaul procedures are positive assurance of increased operational availability of squadron aircraft. Although considerable thought and planning have been given to economy and cost and aircraft servicing and their relative importance recognized, the final judgment rests with the combat effectiveness of the weapon itself. The single engine, single place A4D attack bomber possesses the rugged performance qualities traditional with all aircraft designed and developed by the Douglas Company. It is effective as a land-based weapon for its exceptional performance qualities, such as low stall speed, maneuverability, large payload, and long range, have made it the major weapon for providing close air support to ground troops. Its versatility and reliability in carrier operations have made it a standard weapon for carrier tactical missions. The Skyhawk can be readily operated from the smaller type carriers. The A4D has remarkable versatility of range because of the variety of fuel tank configurations. With the internal tanks, the combat radius is 400 nautical miles. With the external wing tanks, the radius is more than doubled. And with the in-flight refueling, its range is further extended. The performance of the Skyhawk its speeds, ranges, and altitudes obtainable are so flexible as to be militarily significant only in relation to the combat loading and flight plan for each particular mission. The A4D Skyhawk has the proven capability for versatile delivery of modern offensive and defensive weapons. It is a dive bomber for surface attacks or for ground strafing. It is a ground support aircraft with a range, speed, and weapon load to provide maximum assistance to ground troops. Over sea or over land, the Skyhawk attack bomber has highly effective fighter capabilities in given intercept situations. Its military payload and range can be utilized for long-range strategic bombing operations against distant objectives. Its 
maneuverability permits it to exercise bomb tossing techniques. Or bomb lofting delivery, where repercussion effects may be dangerous to the attacking aircraft. Provisions are available which make the A-4D Skyhawk a proven all-weather weapon system to fulfill its mission demands regardless of conditions. Its armament versatility makes it an ideal weapon for police actions or local conflicts. The Skyhawk is in quantity production. It has designed-in reliability. It may be purchased in effective numbers within a reasonable defense budget for more defense power is available within the same budget amount. With the A4D or DA-101, there is speed, range, versatility, and mighty firepower. It is economical in operation and has a high combat availability. It is the airplane that startled the aviation world when it appeared and has maintained its position as the most versatile attack bomber in the world today. It is the mighty midget, the Douglas Skyhawk.